Hey Vault Hunters, to do you here with the commentary version of the Trial and Inst of Instinct run. Hopefully I can get this in one take. We'll see what happens. Um, so let's do the gear and build real quick. So there has been some changes, some upgrades. Um, the first thing I should probably bring to your attention is that this is being made uh, after the, the recent hotfix, the Mala 1 takedown hotfix. In that hotfix gear box, um, bumped up the anointment bonuses for three of the Bolt Hunters, Zane included. So the biggest change is going to be this new Sentinel anointment bonus. So it used to be 50% Sentinel Cryo, now it's 100%. So we're going to be able to, so our, our nuke is going to be doing even more damage. Um, the other change is uh, Barrier anointment, but that doesn't apply here. Now I got some upgrades. I am using an improved version OM instead of the rerouter. The version OM is a better amp shield than the rerouter, and this comes from the Malawan takedown content. I also got a God Roll um, Seeing Dead com for this particular build because we have weapon damage and heavy damage and magazine size. Now in the previous variant, magazine size wasn't a big deal. But um, one of the new additions is the Scourge. So the Scourge, we can get two shots once we've maxed out magazine size, magazine sizes for the Calm and for uh, the Artifact along with Brain Munitus, which is the skill. So uh, new addition is the Scourge. The Scourge is now going to be our boss killing weapon. Where in the previous variant, we were using the Ion Cannon. Uh, the reason why I've made that change is that the Iron Cannon has been nerfed. It now takes six to seven shots. Well, it's going to be seven shots for us because we have the times two variant. Uh, and um, so we don't have enough bullets in the mag to take the boss down um, consistently. So the, Iron, the Scourge is a more consistent weapon at this particular point for this Proving Grounds than the Iron Cannon. Um, we're keeping the Face Puncher, of course, for um, ammo. Nothing changes here with the piss. Uh, same artifact as before. Okay, so there's some minor changes to the build. In the first variant, we had five points in violent speed. Now we only have two. The three points has been reallocated as follows. One point has been added to cool hand. A point in the drone delivery didn't have any uh, drone delivery before. And we have another point in good misfortune. So we have a total of two versus one. Uh, the reason for the drone delivery change is so that um, the drone follows us, right? This way, the, which means that the drone targets different enemies than the clone does. So by putting a point in drone delivery and having the drone capable of dropping grenades on things we're closer to, we can make sure that there's more consistent uh, the piss debuff going on, right? Because piss gives us 20% additional damage to, um, to the enemy that got pissed on. So that's why that's there. Um, and plus, you know, we have enough movement speed that this is not the most important thing. Okay. Um, let's see what all our modifiers are. We have sniper rifle. So since we have sniper rifle, we, we're not going to use uh, Winter's drone. We're going to go back to Boomsday. So I had ran a previous run, and it was cryo, which is why I was using Winter's drone, so I get the cryo debuff of the cryo buff. Um, okay, so change here in synchronicity. We no longer have five points in borrow time, now two. We've moved the three points into prime unitus, like I said before, so that we can get two shots out of the scourge instead of one. Everything else remains the same. Alrighty, let's do this. Alright, we're going to put the drone right in front because we're going to use him so we can teleport back here. So we're going to get up to these guys, swap, so we don't blow ourselves up, and then we're going to take care of these guys in the back. This is not my favorite proving grounds because it's it lacks forward momentum because things spawn behind you. So, which is why I'm staying in the back here because these things are going to keep spawning behind. So we can't really move up until uh, we clear this stuff. And even when we do move up, we're going to be, th things are still going to spawn behind us. Let's get them a little bit closer. These guys will swap and uh, get the things that see that keep spawning behind us. And this is an example of what I'm talking about. So the, the drone targeted those guys back there, had them pissed on while the, um, the clone.
clone is doing something else. Let's get these guys underneath this freaking tree, which is a pain in the ass to hit sometimes. Alright, now we're gonna use the scourge. Of course, the scourge can get up in the tighter spots. You know, like back there where the, where the badass is. So it's a lot easier to hit those guys. Okay, we'll just finish this guy off. And that's that. 2842, that's a pretty good time. Same thing applies here. We're going to put the drone right in front. Use our scores. We're running in, get everything to spawn. Turn around. Alright, we'll just fire up another one. And then from here on in, we'll clean up with the Nukem as these new guys spawn in. Pay attention to the, the, the red thing right here, because enemies spawn out of that. So that's one of the reasons we put the clone where we did, so as they spawn, he could piss on them this way when we scourged it. Alright, we're gonna do this and swap. When we scourged it, those guys would get that, uh, that extra incoming damage, we'll just slide in here. One more person, finish him off. Oh, not quite. I forget about this guy sometimes. Yeah, so this is more easily easier with forward momentum versus the previous zone. So once again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set him up close to the spawning pillar. Now let's blow that up. Kill these guys. See, they just got pissed on. And now let's get the these guys pissed on by the drone. Okay, we should be good. These guys just spawned, so we'll just hit him. I just missed. Judge that one. Yep, alright, we're good. We're gonna swap just to make sure we're clear of him. We're gonna stand in the amp. Get that amp shot. Yep, which is why we're using the O. So we can... All of those guys are pissed on. You can see the coloring. We're gonna swap so we don't get blown up. Let's get these guys murdered. Alright, we're gonna use the scourge. We're gonna get the rest of these guys to spawn and use the scourge to finish them off. Okay, let's get the uh this guy. Easy kill, because we have the drone up. Easy kill. Alright, let's get a swap here. Get him repositioned close to the pillar. Uh, let's make sure that there's nothing back here because sometimes the, the dinosaur will be back here and you won't come forward. Alright, let's blow these guys up. Alright, this guy keeps disappearing so we're going to use a score on him to, to track him down. 26 minutes, we're running a little bit behind my best time but it should be all good. Let's get this guy. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is get this guy launched, and then this is what we want to do. We want to get a wait till the health bar shows up. We're gonna slide and shoot, and then we're gonna swap so we get the bar the uh, the swap anointment to kick in and do some damage. Swap again. I don't know what the hell that was. Let's try that one more time. Swap. Why is he not dying? 16 seconds. This sucks. Alright, let's see if we can't nail it this time. He's still standing. 7 seconds. Alright, we got it. That was mud ugly. But when it's nice and clean, what you, that swapping will just two magazines or two shots, we'll finish them off, right? But that was, eh, it wasn't beautiful, but it worked. But you guys get the idea. So you want to set the clone up up top, jump down, fire two rockets, swap with your clone, and then that barrier anointment, not the barrier anointment, the, uh, the swap anointment will just destroy him. But sometimes it'll target the little guys and not him, and so he doesn't get the full damage, which is what I think happened there. Alright, well, that's it for that. Uh, a little scuffed, 
but it still works. The things to keep in mind is to try to position the clone um, just a little bit away from the red pillar so he can piss on them and you just keep on moving and keep on moving. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next one.